Hi everyone, welcome to Pinay Domain. My name is Eliza and I help all leaders win in life and business. Today, I'm going to share with you a Notion tour of my complete workflow for creative projects. This template is now available in Neat, at Knit Pages PH and I've created this template for three purposes. One is to provide an excellent client experience. Two is to streamline my workflow and three is to keep everything in one place. So no more messy email threads and DMs. So let's start with the dashboard. So at the very top, we have pages for client database, projects, payments, team headquarters, and feedbacks. We also have here a space for some announcement. So you can edit this section and then input meetings, the meeting agenda, and any other upcoming events. We also have a calendar view of upcoming tasks or projects within the month. And here is a weekly agenda where we enter due projects, goals, and priorities within the week. So in our team, we try to update this every Friday. Now let's have a closer look of each page starting off with the client database. So the client database gives you an access to the different client portals. You have here an overview of the list of clients column, the person assigned to each client, the package, the start date and end date of each project and the current phase and the status. So to add a new client or, or to add a new client portal, just press new, expand this uh, template and set up the client portal. So start with the client name, for example, this at co the package is run identity and social media marketing the person assigned to start date and date and the current piece is onboarding and not started so you can edit the properties here by clicking this one and then edit property you can rename you can delete or you can duplicate a property and then after you complete the needed details here you can hide the properties again and then replace this logo with your own logo or picture just click these three dots in here and then click replace then upload your logo or your picture then enter your uh, social media links in here uh, set up your welcome greetings your contact information your email and your availability enter the project brief deliverables and other important dates and then set up the workflow and the project tracker so in the project tracker the tasks all the tasks are listed for your project and then just input the person responsible for each task the start date and due date and the current status so once you set up this project tracker you can now share this to your clients if you are using the plus version you can simply enter an email and then click invite but if you're using the free version make sure that you click this show like options and Make sure that you allow or enable allow editing and comments and disable duplicate as a template. So, dapat naka-disable to and then naka-enable ang editing and comments and then just copy the web link and you can share this link via email or attach it into a client welcome packet. So, now, um, once the your client have an access to this client portal, she can have a overview of your complete workflow process with expected steps or process in every phase. We have the onboarding, discovery, presentation, and offboarding. And then she can also check the project tracker and update the status herself, upload files, and enter some comments or feedbacks so in this 
bottom at the very bottom we have the client portal guide make sure uh, that to prepare the client portal guide as well with some frequently add questions ask questions a welcome bid if it will be helpful and then we also have a client onboarding template to be completed by you and the client so input the introduction give a brief introduction of your business and services then upload a welcome packet or a brochure upload a project proposal by clicking the toggle then upload the contract the first draft and the final contract to make sure that you and the client are on the same page and then upload the invoice and then enter some instructions in this i personally um, require a 50 percent non-refundable deposit before proceeding with any projects and then i also input uh, payment information the modes of payment available and the account details and then next we also have a discovery question here so once na complete na natin yung project proposal just click done and then after the kickoff meeting you can now ask or remind the client to complete the discovery questionnaire asking about the important business information the online press presence mission and vision tagline and the client persona competitors analysis advantage and other important notes the next once it's completed just update the project tracker submit a planning strategy and then update the steps as well then here we also have a space for mood board to complete to be completed by you and the client so input the brand personality three words to describe the brand so input some descriptions in here upload the creative direction the color palette typography logos and other references so you can edit this to keep it in line with your business and then next we have a workspace so in this space is where you share your output so we have the planning and strategy upload here and then you can the client can input her comments and feedbacks in this space upload the first draft and then also have another space for feedbacks and comments and then if there are revisions uh same process lang then then lastly we have the offboarding once that the final invoice is completed you can now hand over the files to the client so input your client welcome packet in here just click this and upload the client welcome packet upload the files in here by clicking the toggle and then ask for some feedbacks with the guided questions in here as well so that is it for the client portal now moving on with the project section so in this section you can track your progress with different or multiple projects so at the very top we have a progress tracker according to phase so we also have here a checklist on every phase we have onboarding checklist discovery phase checklist presentation and the offboarding so for example here we have bliss and co now once you completed the project proposal submitted the first invoice and kickoff meeting you can now move this uh, client into discovery phase and then after you completed the all the tasks under the discovery phase checklist you can move it into the presentation phase until you complete 
the checklist for the offboarding phase. So that's it for the projects. We also have a section to track payments. So we have here a link to a specific client database, the list of clients, the project costs, the first invoice amount due, second invoice amount due, the invoice sent date, and then the first and second invoice due date and then the status so for a status i have here pending first invoice aid and fully paid i also have a calendar view of first invoice due date and then the second invoice due date in here we also have a section to track payments so we have here a link to a specific client database, the list of clients, the project costs, the first invoice amount due, second invoice amount due, the invoice sent date, and then the first and second invoice due date, and then the status. So for a status, I have here pending, first invoice aid and fully paid. I also have a calendar view of first invoice due date and then the second invoice due date in here next we have the team headquarters so this space is dedicated for your business goals action plans and progress trackers so you can enter the members of your team in here the position and the responsibilities and then we also have here a list of your goals specify when the main goals tags if it's finances branding launch or uh, marketing the target date and the status so you can view it by status and by calendar the next is an action plan where you break down your goals into actionable tasks say for example the um quarter one goals and then the team goals so for example the team goes to sold 200 copies of client portals so what are the tasks needed to achieve this specific goal then input some tags the person responsible for each task the start date and date and then update the status then at the end we also have a business audit template so we have here a monthly audit, for example, the accomplishment for a specific month, the gaps and challenges, and the plans for improvement. We have a scheduled audit on a monthly basis, quarter basis, and annual basis. Then next we have, and then lastly, we have a feedbacks section. So in this section is where I upload the collection of all the feedbacks we have here the client name and then an edited version of the testimonials so we have here this one and then if I need for example to upload it on my socials I can easily access the client reviews in here and then share it so that is it for the client portal and project management. If you're interested, just check the knit pages, PH page in the description box below. Thank you.